Good evening, wonderful people. Great dear friends. Wherever you're watching from, I encourage you to share this program the moment you're coming in. For those of us who might watch this program from Russia, we encourage you to direct this message to Russian President, President Vladimir Putin. Even though that most of them, majority of them, claim that they do not know what is going on, but we know practically well that they know what is going on. And that is why we are doing whatever we can in order to put them on notice for them to understand that we know the game that they are playing because we can see the reason why that you know practically well that nigerian government is killing its citizen projecting fears on a daily basis in order to keep one nigeria people are suffering people are desperately fleeing the country because of one thing or the other but a country like russia we decide to be selling weapons to nigerian government to the government of buhari and that same weapon is now being distributed across the afro land just like the one that we saw today that over 50 and more tankers landed in imo state over 50 and more tankers landed in imo state all this weapon being acquired from canada acquired from russia acquired from china acquired from america they are being used in order to islamize everybody my name is mazo anikeman kendelen wachineke a bona fide active member of ipov and also an active financial member as well serving the indigenous people of afra through media evangelists and also music today we want to bring to the notice of the Russian government that as much as Nigerian government is busy acquiring weapons, so we are also going to be busy putting them on notice so that by the time that we begin our madness, nobody will blame us. That is number one. Number two, question that I want to ask these people how would they be able to look us in the face in the future by the time we have our freedom to congratulate us to say that you've done well for yourself but right now that we are fighting for our own freedom they are busy selling weapons deadless weapon to the country that we are seeking our freedom from and tomorrow they will be showing this their sh show of shame if i might use that word in order to congratulate us and the same thing goes to the if lefus governors be senators as long as you're a public servant in biafra land as long as you're a public servant in biafra land there is no hiding place for you because one thing that you must know is this that we are the most travel people all around the world a lot of people have traveled willingly a lot of people have traveled desperately that is why that you must be very very careful you must be very very careful there is no hiding place for you there is no hiding place for you our message today is directed to the russian uh, president president vladimir putin whom just recently the supply to nigerian government weapons in order to do what in order to conquer the citizens of nigerians people like putin or every other world leader all across the country i mean all across the world they know exactly what is going on they are aware when Mazen Nam the Kano wrote a letter, open letter to, Donald, to, 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 to Joe Biden, 
saying, Do not sell weapons to Nigeria. Buharis have an Islamic agenda. This is an open letter. And there is no major leader in this world, or be it Africa or West, or, or here in the Western world, that does not see these things. This is an open letter written by Mazen Nam the Kano on the 10th of May 2021. 10th of May 2021, just a month before his abduction from, from Kenya, to Joe Biden and said, do not sell weapons to Nigeria. Buhari have an Islamic agenda. And this Islamic agenda is what is taking place today. This is our Islamic agenda is what is taking place in the plateau state. It's taking place in all across the country in order to Islamize everybody. These weapons, they use our money to borrow. They use our money to buy weapons in order to Islamize us. And that is why we are putting them on notice. Now, let me read the news. Let me read the news. Nigeria to supply, I mean, Russia to supply Nigeria later weapon to curb growing insecurity. You're talking about growing insecurity. You want to fight insecurity? But the same people that we are, you're supposed to fight, you are busy recruiting them into the Nigerian army. This is a direct message to Putin because if, do not neglect what we are doing, viewers, the moment you're coming in, all we want you to do is to share. Our message is going far. They are listening. They are listening. Do not neglect it. All you have to do is to share. The insecurity that you say that you want to use these weapons to fight, the same people, the same Boko Haram, ISIS in West Africa, you are busy recruiting them into the Nigerian army. You are busy recruiting them into Nigerian police. You are busy recruiting them into DSS. You are busy recruiting them in all security agencies all across Nigeria. You are using insecurity to defraud or to convince other people that you want to. But these people, they know exactly what is going on in Nigeria. But because they want to make a profit before Nigeria breaks up. They want to try to play a part in a sense that to see if they can be able to put Nigeria one. And also, Nigeria have been able to succeed in order to subjugate all the major media platform all across the world so that they cannot be able to carry our news out and when they see all broadcasting they say that we are fake news we are propaganda we are people fighting against the nigerian state but they know the truth and they are listening because of this, we are letting President Putin of Russia that you must, you must stop supplying Buhari government a weapon. You must go to Biafran Star News Online and see where Mazen Namdekan wrote an open letter and said, don't sell weapon to Nigeria because Buhari has an Islamic agenda. This is an open letter to President Joe Biden. Putin, you must go and see that. And that is the reason why that uh, 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 America have suspended to sell the weapon to Nigerian government. And now they have turned to Putin. They have turned to Russian government so that they can acquire more weapons. Today, today, about 50 50 of armored tankers were seen in Imo State. In Imo State, one of the states in Nigeria, one of the states in Biafra land. About 50 armored tanks today, as we speak. Today, as we speak. So, we are putting your notice that you must, you must stop 
supplying Buhari government weapons, you must stop supplying them because the more you are supplying them, that means you are helping him in order to Islamize us all. And we cannot allow that to happen. We cannot allow that to happen. This is not 1967. We know what you guys did. We know what the role Russia play. We know the role Egypt play. We know the role America play. We know the role all the major power play during 1967-1970. You doesn't say now. But this time around, we are putting you on notice because we can never allow Buhari government to take our ancestral land. Har makaiman da kake ji na yanzu nan maganar da muke yi yanzu nan abinda muke gama muna gama president of Russia president Vladimir Putin in the shin nan yake sarma Buhari government bindigogi bombobobi kuma abinda yake ga musu Buhari ya ga musu cewa wai yana so ye 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 fight against insecurity in nigeria amma da yan uwa nan da kaka gani yanzu nan ina ne wanga insecurity nan kwana kin bayan a plateau state just mun ga inda aka kakkashe mutane kwana kin bayan nan mun ga inda wa'angan mutanen nan suka kama mutanen da sun nan a cikin satan kaduna sun kakkashe su duka mun gan kwanakin bayan nan mun ga inda wa'angan mutanen nan suka shiga a military barrack suka invade military bar military barrack suka kakkashe mutane mun ga inda wa'angan mutanen nan da suke sallame banditry mun ga inda wa'angan mutanen nan sa a tura shegumi ya je yana sallame su dan ya kakkama mutane azo abasu million million abasu billion billion sannan kuma government of buhari ya ga ma president putin of russia cewa ya basu bindigogi kuma har ma shi wa'angan putin nan the russian president shi ma ya riga ya yarda ya riga ya yarda kuma ya supply din nasu wa'angan weapon din nan yau da muka ga muka yanzu nan yau the 27th of August 2021 muka gan 50 amma tankers da suka shigo a cikin Imo state yau dan ka ga maka kana gani ko shine yasa muka ga ma zaka tashi a barci wa'angan yanzu nan abin da ake yi ba wai ka ce wai da aka kakkashe muka yan uwanka ka doka shi ka kai shi government house a a ba abin da zaka yi ba kowa zai tashi a barci kowa zai tashi a barci wa'angan amotan kan nan da aka zo da shi a Imo state daga ina ya bi daga ina muka tambaye ku daga ina ya bi sun shiga a Imo state ko ba haka ba before these people enter Imo state where did they pass they must have passed an ambra state why did the anambrians why the youth of anambra did not attack them because we saw trailers why didn't they attack them why didn't they kill those those, those drivers why didn't they kill them because we know what they are coming to do you saw allow them they pass anambra you did not do anything down to imo state even those of you in in, in beno state you allowed them you saw it you practically you saw it and you did not even try to stop them kunnan da kuke a cikin beno state kun gan su dan da lokacin da suke zowa ba kai komi ba ba kai komi ba wuce hakan ga Allah yi suna bi Allah yi suna tafiya ba ku doka wani abu ku papa samu ku kuma ku kakkashe su ku kokkashe wa'an ga abin nan aiki sojoji so in protect country and then akwai wa'ansun da suke so su invade the country shine zaka gani sojoji a gurnin zaka gani cewa kana gani a a a sojoji su fito daga barak menene yasa sojoji suka turo a cikin gidaje 
are checking are checking gari the ammo tankers kuma kana ganshi ka bar su sun tafi sun shigo daga Benue state what about those of you in Plateau state maybe these people they came from Bauchi for example maybe they came from Kaduna maybe they came from Niger from Niger to Kaduna from okay you saw them if they move from Niger to Kaduna and those of you who are suffering the killings those of you who buried your brothers and sisters just a few days ago you saw them they moved from Niger to Kaduna you did not break their head you did not set it ablaze you did not take over those things those weapons where are they going with it you allowed in the past Kaduna down to Plateau State those of you in Joss those of you in Akwanga Kunnanda Kuke Atiki Akwanga Kungensu Bakutare Suba Bakupapa Same Suba Bakukoka Shewa and Abunnan Mbakaseni Yenzunnan We are at war If you don't know, you know You are allowed in the past Plateau State They pass Joss They pass Lafia Down to Beno State People of Beno State are looking They are watching They are watching you know what they're doing their job is to protect the country they don't have any business running around states with weapons upon weapons and you know what is going on you allow them they pass plateau state you allow them they pass beno state you allow them they pass a number state down to emo state where they're going to are you not fools Are you not fools? Mazen nan de kanu. He said, Kirkas doona kana diba wa wene e kama ka bendega. Kadeka nima abu. Katera musu hanya. Katera musu hanya. Kai ambush din nasu. Nkai ambush din nasu. Kome abun de kagan seke kama wa ngabun nam. Wa ngashina magana mazen nan de kanu. Kagani wo. Wa ngashina magana shi. Domin wa en gan mutanen da kake gani yanzu nan su daga sun zo su kwashe maka filin ka su daga sun zo su kwashe maka filin ka kuma sun ga maka cewa in ba ka ba su filin ka wai wallahi tallahi za a kakkashe ka kuma ka gani load of truck suka wuce ana wucewa kana kalle shi daya biyu uku Hudu kana kaleshi kana kaleshi ana wucewa ana wucewa ana wucewa kana kaleshi baka nima abaka tare musu hanya baka me yasa baka kashe wa ingan driver nan wa ingan driver bin nan me yasa baka kashe shi ba tambare ka tambaya ko back to the russian president what we are telling you is that the weapons that you are selling to nigerian government to buhari government they are using it to kill the citizens they are not using it to fight the issue insurgency they are not using it to fight the insecurity the people that they claim they are fighting which is the boko haram isis in west africa hijab jihadists just few weeks or last month or thereabouts the person who is wearing the mask of buhari unified them for them to fight against the south if you don't know you know if you do not know now you know this man that called buhari few weeks ago he unified with boko haram isis in west africa jihadis fulani headsmen banditry kidnappers etc etc he unified them in one bond in order to fight against the sultanas we that is fighting for the restoration of the afra through referendum 
we that is fighting for Odudua nation for referendum he unified them to come and kill us and this is exactly what happened today the 27th of August 2021 they just came with 50 armor tankers landed in Nemo state a state residing in the southern part of Nigeria if you don't know you know if you don't know let me also tell you that this same Buhari or this same government of Buhari have spent over 30 billion dollars including your government including your own media in Russia in order to suppress any news that will or should come out from Nigeria not to be reported the reason why that we can be able to see news that Nigeria cut a deal with Russia it is because there is a law there is an international law that when you purchase a weapon from a foreign land you must make it publicly to the international media you must make it publicly so that you they don't have a situation whereby you see something like Adolf Hitler rising again that is why we've been able to see it because we know that Nigerian government have never and can never respect the rule of law Nigerian government can never and will never respect the rule of law it is impossible if they will respect or if they want uh, they are responding to the rule of law why is it that on the 26th of July they did not provide our leader Mazenam the in the court of law. If Nigerian government is respecting the rule of law, if you don't know, let me tell you, President Putin, because I know that this person is going to get to you. If Nigerian government is respecting the rule of law, why is it that on the 26th of July, they did not provide Mazen Namdekano in the court of law. Why? Because they don't respond that. On 29th, when there was an order by the Federal High Court, Abuja, that the counselors, the lawyers to our leader, the lawyers to IPOB should visit our leader, but DSS floated that order if they are respecting the rule of law if they are respecting the rule of law if they are respecting the rule of law they wouldn't have they wouldn't have invaded the house of our leader Mazen Nam the Kano. they would have waited for him to come to the court of law they don't respect the reason why I'm making this reference to you sir is because The news that we saw, it is because it's a mandatory that when another country is having a weapon business deal transaction, it must be known in the public domain in international law so that other people can be able to know what and how much you have been able to acquire from a foreign land. It is all there. And from this fact, People whom their business is to make a research and to monitor countries who are acquiring weapons can be able to do what? To have these data. Like the one we saw on the Daily Trust. It says, why countries refuse to sell weapons to Nigeria? You can go to Daily Trust, President Putin. This message is direct to you. For you to not and um, to see selling weapons to Nigerian government because they are using it to Islamize us all. And we cannot take that. If you go to Daily Trust, you will see an article why countries refuse to sell weapons to Nigerian government. And a security analysis and a retired commissioner of police, Lawrence Alobi, has said the refusal of some Western countries to sell weapons to Nigeria. A security analysis and retired commissioner of police, 
Lawrence Alobi has said the refusal of some Western countries to sell weapons to Nigeria may be due to a lack of trust with the leadership of the country. The leadership of the country. Who is this? We are talking of President Muhammad Buhari. Lack of trust. That's the reason why they refuse to sell weapons. Now we are asking you, President Putin, are you not among those Western countries that they are referring to? Of course you are. Are you not aware that things that a lot of Western countries have lost trust on Nigeria? Of course you are aware. Then why? The reason why we are saying this, tomorrow when we have which we are going to have our freedom, you are going to be number one to come and congratulate us. You are going to be the number one to congratulate us. What for? Now you are helping the countries in order to suppress and put us on more uh, uh, oppress the more. You will be the man. You are going to be one of the people who are going to send us a congratulation for your new nation. Now we are asking you to back off. This is in the public domain. You can go to Daily Trust. You are going to see it. It was published on the on the 4th of August 2020. You can go there and see it. In an interview with Daily Trust on Thursday, Alobi said some of the many factors why they deny the sale of weapons is because our leaders have lack integrity. Whom are these leaders? The leader of the Buhari government. They have lack integrity. That is why some of the countries, Western countries, refuses to sell weapons to Nigeria. But President Putin, the president of Russia, have just yesterday, the 26th, or maybe day before the day, broke a deal, sold weapon to the Buhari government, and that weapon, 50 of them, and right now, as we speak, in, as we speak, in Imo State, and very, very soon, very, very soon, very, very soon, is going to go and work. Why? Why? Because we asked for referendum. All we needed is referendum. All this show of force cannot help you and will never ever help you. It can never help you. This show of force that you are using force to suppress everything, it is impossible. It is impossible for you to use it to succeed. It is impossible. It is impossible. All we ask is referendum. Nothing more, nothing less. This is all we ask. Referendum. So the least you can do, President Putin, is to ask Nigerian government to give the people what they want. Because APC government, Nigerian government, is nothing but a terrorist government. All the, all the major posts in Nigeria are being controlled by APC government, by Fulani people, in order to Islamize everybody. That is why that just a few days ago, what we are telling you is to go and fact check all these things. That is why a few days ago, Fulani invaded the military academic center and killed military personnel, not even one single not even one single uh, 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 Fulani was captured. Not even one shot, one shot of gun was fired. Not even one. And the people who were killed are all from the Southerners. These are verified facts. You can go and verify that. So that you can be able to know and tell us if you are not among those Western world that they are talking about that shouldn't be selling weapons to Nigerian government. They're also saying now, 
So those of us who are going to watch this program in the future in Russia, hashtag Vladimir Putin and his government, hashtag them for them to do what? Be among those, those Westerners whom daily tours and called a program with Mr. Alobi on Tuesday, 14th of August 2020, saying that the reason why that other Western country refuses to sell weapons to Nigerian government is because of lack of integrity. Lack of integrity. He noted Western countries, although want to do business and sell weapons, also look at the moral content of their actions. Also speaking on daily trust, described as unfortunate how Western countries are refusing to sell arms to Nigeria by Ben Okezie. Live, live. Ben Okezie. You see? These are the F-Levels. These are the F-Levels. So what are we trying to get here? What we are trying to tell here, or what we are trying to tell Putin, is to make sure to desist from selling weapons from the Nigerian government. Now let me read the news in full. The government of President Muhammad Buhari has signed a deal that we ensure Russia supply of leather weapons to Nigeria to tackle growing insecurity. What is expected is that the deal will serve as a military tactical cooperation agreement with the Russian government. The agreement on military tactical cooperation between both countries provide a leather framework for the supply of military equipment, provision of after sale service, the statement quoted Mr. Putin as saying. The signing of the military tactical cooperation agreement is a landmark development in a bilateral relation between Nigeria and the Russian Federation. This is a statement from Putin. We know that even Nigeria as it, as it is right now, in a break of breaking up, that they have some streams. But also, you have to also think about the people who are residing in Nigeria. You have to think about the Christians, whom Buhari government is doing everything humanly possible to Islamize everybody. And that is the reason why that he is signing this agreement with you. Which you said, the signing of military tactical cooperation agreement is a landmark development in the bilateral relationship between Nigeria and the Russian Federation. We disagree with that. We disagree with that because as we speak right now, even though you are not, you are not going to see it in the in 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 international media, if the issues that we are talking right now that you doubted it if you are doubted it make more research you have agents in nigeria make research ask them to go online to make a research and see if there is a 50 tank armor tank that was shipped into the emo state today you're going to see it. You are going to see it. We do not have Boko Haram insurgents in Imo State. We do not have ISIS in West Africa in Imo State. We do not have uh, 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 jihadists in Imo State. All we have is a peaceful people who are asking for the referendum. For our human right to be able to decide if we want to be in Nigeria or not. These are the people you are going to find in Imo State. So if you are doubting us, you have agents. You have diplomatics in Nigeria. 
ask them to confirm and see if what we are saying is true or not because today over 50 one 50 uh, 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 armor tankers landed in Nemo State, and I believe that other states as well. You know what I'm saying now? I believe other states as well. Let me continue. Why declaring open the seventh International Military Tactical Forum, Army 2021? President Vladimir Putin disclosed that contracts for the supplies of military equipment have been concluded. You have to inconclude it. You have to inconclude it, President Putin. Yes, I'm saying now. You have to inconclude it. Let me repeat it again. Why declaring an open seven international military tactical forum, Army 2021, President Vladimir Putin disclosed that contracts for the supply of military, supply, that is on end ending, supply of military equipment had been concluded. You have to inconclude it so that you can be among those Western countries that refuse to sell weapons, which was disclosed on the 14th of August 2020, last year. You have to conclude it. You have to also go and check the open letter that Mazen Namde Kanon sent to Bidin saying that do not sell weapons to Nigerian government because Buhari has an Islamic agenda. You have to also go and check that so that you can be able to know what you are doing. So that by the time we have our freedom, when you come to us to congratulate us, we will know that yes, it is genuine. You cannot be backbiting us, you cannot be hurting us, you cannot be supplying Nigerian government weapons. And at the same time, by the time we have our freedom, you'll be among the people who is going to congratulate us. Let me continue. Why declaring open seventh international? Let me repeat again. Why declaring seven open international seven uh, military tactical forum 2021? President Vladimir to Putin disclosed that contracts have been supplied of the military equipment and it has been concluded. Massive mutually beneficial portfolio of contracts for the supply of Russian military goods are concluded on the forum sideline every year sideline every blessed year so that dear friends for you to know that these are the people who have come openly to stand by nigerian government and we are putting them on notice we are putting them on notice we are telling the whole world, we are telling the whole world that these are the people that have come openly to help Nigeria to do what? To Islamize us. This contract has been said, it has been sidelined every year, explained Mr. Putin. The forum has on display over 28,000 units of modern military, arms and equipment ranging from small firearms to artillery tanks and military combat aircraft military combat aircraft tanks artillery including the unknown you're saying now and part of the tanks maybe they just shifted the old ones that they have so they want to make sure that they clear the warehouse the nigerian government why shifting these 50 armor tanks in Nemo state they want to clear the warehouse why clearing the warehouse so that they can have where to part 
these artillery tanks and military combat aircraft this is all what they're doing and also you can also go and check it today as we speak in river state a state called river state in nigeria in all old eastern 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 nigeria that an unknown helicopter fire to boats that were carrying passengers in uh, in, in in river state and many fire dead so probably they are learning how to kill and they have to test it on a human being because they say it's unknown and yusumuike yusumuike did not make any pre, uh, official statement about that he did not take any tactics he did not take any action against that. an unknown helicopter fired and killed people on a passenger's boat in river state who are the people doing this it is the apc government it is the apc terrorist government it is the buhari government to make sure that they project more fears in us so i don't cannot be able to speak you cannot be able to exercise your feelings instead of them organizing a referendum instead of them releasing our leader Mazen nam the Kano, who is right now on dungeon instead of giving the people what they want what do they do they are projecting more fears in us and that is why we're putting on uh, president putting on notice that this concluded every year supply that you have concluded with nigerian government you have to unconclude it it must stop it must stop no countries of the world is allowed to help nigerian government to fight this war no countries of the world is allowed to help nigerian government and british to fight this war none whatsoever none whatsoever what happened in 1967 will not continue and can never be allowed that is why i am telling every Afrans. that is why i am telling kowai nandeke a chicken in kind of plot to state in kind of be no state Quarter in and the car called the Achin Kaduna, quarter in and the car gang were and gun so dojin nun, car against the wet and gun, a bundesaka katera musu anya. This prevention, you want to prevent death, you want to prevent not to die, you want to make sure that you prevent people not to die, but people are dying. People are dying. Babu in the Zaka Bursu, Nden Kagan e wet and gun tapia nun. The suke zo the moto chi so joji katera musu hanya inane zasuje. Wata kila wa engam mutani in the kake gering in zunman. Sooner suka kaka shem mutani an an a kaduna. Wata kila sooner suka kaka shem mutani an aija. Kumaka gensu sum mucha de kaduna kabar su. Baka tera musu hanya ba. Baka kaka shesu ba. Baka koka shemusu bendugo gin nasu ba. Kabar su shika plastu. Mutanin plato kuma son barsu basu tare musu ga abin da ya faru a jos kwana kin bayan nan ga abin da ya faru a jos kwana kin bayan nan ka barsu suna suka kakkashe wata kila ka buga mu wayo ka buga musu waya ka ga musu dalla so su taimaka maka abin da yake faruwa sun kale ku ka barsu sun fido daga daga plato stage sun shiga a a a a a a a jos sun wuce zo sun wuce plato sun wuce akwanga sun wuce nasarawa ba ku yi komai ba sai kuka bar su suka shiga beno state suka shiga beno state ba ku yi komai ba ka bar su sun fute dan suka gama kashe ka za su wuce jaje a ga maka cewa wai su ne manajeriya ka ga musu cewa su kun sun ci sun ci kuturma boro uban su babu inda zaka gansu da iri wa'angan abubuwan nan ka bar su ba wani a cikin duniyar da kaka gani yanzu nan ka ga sojoji da bindigogi su su shiga ko ta ina suna intimidate mutane babu gunda zaka ga iri wa'angan abun nan a duniyar nan iri wa'angan abubuwan nan a duniyar nan babu gunda zaka ga wa'angan abun nan a duniyar nan a gurin da zaka ga sojoji 
ndin kamun akwai mutanen za su shigo wata country hakan ga su shigo yanzu nan su zo su invade wangan country nan to a gurin da zaka ga sojojin nan za su fi daga barak mba aka ba aiki police aiki polisai aikin su ne su hada ko ta ina yayi zaman lafiya kaga ne ko yanzu nan Nigeria suna da ko wata force force da kake da shi suna da shi amma dai aiki ba su hada ka samu aiki ba bayan graduation ba ka da aiki bayan da kai makarantar nan ko kuma ka kwai aiki inda aikin walda ka kuya inda kamar aiki kafin ta ka kuya inda aikin soyayya ka kuya komai abin da ka kuya dan ka ga wa'an ga abin ga in ba ka da kudi babu inda za ka iya ka fi da wa kai kai wanga aikin nan ba kuma ka shiga banki ka ce wai a ba ka loan za a ga maka go and bring documents of your father's land kana gani ko za ga maka je ka ka document of your father's land wanda shi bai da abinci ba ka da kudi ka ci abinci ina za ka samu kudi ka je kana nima kai document ka gan cewa muka ga muka cewa Nigerian government suna kakkashe suna kakkashe future talents mutani kana gani ko suna kakkashe talent mutani suna kakkashe talent mutani to menene zaka yi wanda opportunity da kake da shi yanzu nan ko ta inan da ka gan su da amor tank dan za su wuce ga plateau state wallahi tallahi abin da zaka yi musu ka taira musu hanya domin ko ta inan da ka gan sojoji suna ta yayyawo a cikin najeriya a to kenan wanda mutanen da ka gani su ne suka kakkashe muka in uwanku kar ka bar su su wuce kar ka bar su su wuce ko da ka gasa plateau state ko da ka gasa a jos ko da ka gasa a makodi ko da ka gasa a beno state ko da ka gasa a cross river ko da whether you see them in cross river whether you see them in anambra state if you see them in imo state even those of you even in imo state you even allow them you even allow them you are busy talking about business people they are coming these people can sacrifice everything sacrificable in order to get what they want even including their life you are there you're watching them you are watching them number one pass you saw them what are you going to do you do what you're supposed to do you block them you kill them you kill them once you did that the nursing or non government or eastern security net on they will come out and take care of the 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 the, the, the equipment there is how it's been done we are at war you cannot just be there in imo state and you allow them they are passing by they are just passing by they are just passing by you are just watching them these people are the people who have been killing people in in, in kaduna state they from kaduna maybe they from maybe they from niger state or maybe kwara state or maybe fct abuja or maybe they, they, they are, are maybe they, 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 they from sokoto or maybe they from kanu or maybe they from brunu or maybe they from katina maybe they from sokoto or maybe even these weapons that you saw was just even just imported it was just imported because you know they have dry port in kaduna state they have dry port in kanu maybe it is a maybe it is a new equipment that just been brought over they just bought them maybe they just bought them and they drive you from sokoto or maybe they drive you from kaduna or maybe they drive you from bauchi or maybe they drive you from burnu or maybe they drive you from katina and they pass kaduna and people of kaduna who are crying recently who have job buried their people and you know people who did this kun san mutanen da suka yi wa'anga abun nan kuma ka gan su da wa'angan amo tankers ka bar su ka bar su ka bar su sun wuce gobe za su dau kuma a kashe 1 a kashe 2 a kashe 3 a kashe 5 
a kashe shida a kashe bakwai a kashe goma kana gansu kagara gansu da kanka baka san abin da zaka yi baka san abin da zaka yi ka bar su so wuce daga sokoto sun shiga kaduna ka bar su daga kaduna sun shiga bauchi ka bar su daga bauchi sun shiga uh, 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 gongala ka bar su daga gongala suka shiga a cikin plateau state a cikin plateau state this plateau this is jos this is jos a cikin wangan jos nan even those of you who went to government house in jos to display those bullet body are you telling me that you didn't see these people pass from plateau state are you telling me because they must pass through plateau state it is a must they must pass dollars as a shiga as a shiga at kim plateau state babu in the zasu bi quarter in a quarter scoso the kanu quarter scoto ko naija they must pass through plateau state kunnan da kunnan kuka doke wa ingen da ka kashe kun tafi a government house kuka tafi a government house sai nan wa ingen mutanen nan suka shiga a plateau state an wuce na da bi na daya an wuce na biyu na uku kana kalle su da ka gan dayan nan you don't raise alarm you do not call your people what are you doing what are you doing you allow one one pass a trailer what is trailer even our kada self can even pursue trailer one will stay at the back one person will stay at the back the other person will drive you go and kill the motherfucker you go and kill the motherfucker kill the driver kill the idiot take the weapons get ready prepare yourself what are you doing you are allowed in the plan part plan to state that is they 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 speak on the dead that you just demonstrated in government house or plan to state they spitted on them they tell you they don't care now if you care for the dead if you care for those ones who just lost their life if you care for those ones kunnan da kuke a cikin plateau nake magana nan kunnan da kuke a cikin plateau state dan kannan in kannan kana so wayan ganin da suka mutu su yi rasunnan rasunnan su yi barcin nasun nan da kyakkyau in alheri kar ka yarda irwa in ga abun nan ya faruwa dan ka gan irwa in ga abun nan abun da zaka yi ku da ku kashe wa in ga driver nan da kaka gani domin komai abun da kaka yi akwai justification bab in the studio ji za su shiga a cikin gari ina ruwan su ka gin an motanka suna so su ba ku high bp high blood pressure dan ka gan su hakan nan ka samu high blood pressure saboda mene ne ka gan sophisticated weapon a western world nan da kake gani akwai wanda shi ma ya kai shekar 30 ko kuma shekar 40 hakan ga bai taba gin an motanka life wata kila zai ganshi a cikin movie wata kila zai browse din nashi a internet ya ganshi amma dai ya ga maka cewa ya ganshi life that he saw it life he can never amma dai a cikin nigeria har ma yara hakan ga ka mene mene kake so ki suna speak nan na wa'in ganda suka mutu nan kaka gan su ka tare musu hanya ka kashe su even if they beat plateau state and they follow niger those of you the, that you are in niger state once you see such a thing once you see such a thing benno state is one of the state that recorded thousands of dead even as we speak today what are you doing you are allowed in the past benno state they pass makode they pass wadata they pass wuruku down to the down to the east and you allow them they pass all you can do is to take your photo you lament without doing anything without even doing anything local chin the akagam ko local chin the ensas 
akache ruku focus focus at, at king friday ana gamu ku chewa remain just three days saturday sunday monday chewa ipob zamu peter only three days remain only three days kunzo na gurun kuna lullaba gashin so this is what i'm telling you once you see these people you do not allow them because military have no business in 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 in, 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 in state in the state of nigeria when there is an external forces this is exactly where you're going to see them so you must be aware and that is why we are we are telling president uh, uh russia vandamia putin that you must stop selling military weapons to nigerian government it's a must it is a must you must stop it and also the anambler anamblerians the anambra people most of you saw this thing are you okay are you telling me that you didn't see it did they beat anambra state made they, they pass igodomigodo and people of igodomigodo you saw it are you telling me that you didn't saw it you might have somebody saw it they beat if they beat uh, 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 anambra they pass through igodomigodo before coming to 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 uh, uh, uh state or maybe they pass through river state somebody must have saw it you have to do something you must do something you have to do something you have to do something because all this is not acceptable it is not acceptable it is not acceptable it is not acceptable and we cannot accept that we cannot accept that we cannot accept that we cannot accept that let's look at another news you so weak Chris in Gige and you back even Soludo even Soludo that I just clamoring for governorship of Anambra State all of them there is no safe place for them no safe place for them around all around the world because we are everywhere we are everywhere we are the most travel people all around the world both the willing and unwilling and when you talk about unwilling those one who desperately who desperately want to leave nigeria and many of them succeeded by leaving nigeria and even as we speak today many are even desperate to leave nigeria so where are you going to go where are you going to go you don't have any choice you don't have any choice than to support the struggle you don't have any choice than to begin to do the things that we want to see people want something that they can be able to see to feel not they say they say not tomorrow so there is no hiding place for all of you even all these flavors all these saboteurs there is no sub there is no there is no there is no there is no a, a, a safe place for you because we are everywhere imagine by the time we have our freedom how we'll be respected there is no place that we cannot go we will have the authority we will have the authority to go anywhere and to arrest you to arrest you to come and face because they broke the law they broke their law extradited extraordinary rendited our leader from country from 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 from, from kenya to nigeria they broke the british law they broke the uh, uh, kenyan's law they also broke nigerian law and what makes you think that those things are not going to change let me leave you for here let me leave you for here i still remember as on the and candle and watch naked a bonafide active member of ipob and also an active financial member as well serving the indigenous people of afro through media evangelists and music like i used to say be focused remain resolute do not give up they are getting our message they are getting our message and we are doing a great work thank you very much and Mitchell Kama bless you. Shalom.